Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Romani. If you're not sure who I am, you've never seen any of my videos before, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My channel is geared toward business, beauty, health, and empowerment. Today we have a beauty video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I dyed my hair and got this really cute ginger looking color. So if you wanna dye your hair or you just wanna see me dye my hair, keep watching. So this is how my hair looks. You guys can see it is dyed, but it is still dark. So I'm going to redo it. And I'm just going to be using Cream of Nature Box Dye. And I'm just showing you guys what they gave me. So they gave me like the applicator, the gel color, the intensive conditioning treatment, and some argan oil. And I also had some developer. The directions do have gloves, so you don't have to go buy any, but I did go buy shower caps, and I got all of this stuff from Sally's, but it'll be in the description box below. So before I start dyeing anything, I'm just going to make sure to put some grease around my edges. Now, usually people use Vaseline, but I don't have any, so I just got some grease out of my hair closet, and I just apply that all around my edges, and this is going to stop the dye from like dyeing my skin. So now I'm just going to take that gel color and squeeze it into the applicator bottle. I'm not sure what type of liquid is already in the applicator bottle, but I do know that it helps to dye your hair. So we're just going to mix our gel color in with that. And then I am just going to pour this developer in and it's kind of like a powder substance. So I did do it over my bowl so I wouldn't, you know, waste any. And then I just shake that up for 10 to 15 seconds. And I'm going to do that with both boxes of hair dye. So you don't have to pour your stuff into a bowl. You can literally just use the applicator on your scalp, but I wanted to mix my color, so I did purchase a bowl for it, and I'm just going to mix it with my hands. My hair is already split into four sections, so I just apply the dye to each of the sections. I did record when I did the back, like the first part, but it just did not look good so I'm just going to show you all from here so I do like to go through my head a few times so the first time I just like to just get the dye onto my hair so it can start dying and then I'm gonna go back through and like really thoroughly apply the dye to each strand of hair So this is my second go round where I'm really splitting my hair up and really applying that dye to the strands. And I haven't done my roots yet because you always want to wait till the very end to do your roots because they turn quickly. So I started to run out of dye, so I'm just going to cut the applicator bottle open and use the dye at the bottom of that and apply it to my roots. And this is how my hair looks after I went through my hair about three times. So I did three good times to just really apply that dye to every strand of my hair. And I do like to squeeze my hair just because it does create more dye and you can put that around just different pieces of your hair. After I do that, I'm just going to put on a shower cap and sit for 45 minutes. So you guys can see as I'm washing this out, I do have some dark pieces because I'm not like the best colorologist, but I don't mind because I do wear my hair natural so it doesn't even phase me. I did use the conditioner that they put in the box. I did that off camera, but I did that and sat for 15 minutes and washed it out again. And this is how my color looks. You guys can see it's a little blotchy, but I'm not complaining. You know, it is what it is. I still like the color. And 
this is the finished look. I really like my braid out. It looks a lot different from when it was wet, so I really like it. Um, I thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at XO underscore Romani, and I will see you guys in my next video.